And Kevin, you work at Tallick. Tell us a bit about your role. I'm a project engineer in the structural division at Perry Sound. Okay, and I see that you've picked the crazy carpet. I have. <laughs> the most dangerous of them all, I think. Yep. Uh, so tell me a little bit about why you chose that. You know, I've used one as a kid, and it's been a long time, and I was kind of just hoping to get back on one and see how it worked. And are there any engineering principles you want to tell us about? Like, how was it formed? How was it made? <laughs> really, it's a simplistic design, as you can tell. Yeah. Um, it's really a one-size-fit-all sled. It's made to be easy to learn and easy to, easy to use. And the intended use? Like, how would you go down? There's a bunch of options, but traditionally it's for typical uh, tobogany. Yeah. Um, you can lay down on it, you can go on your knees, or you can sit down. I'm Absolutely. sure in the past there's been a few people that have stood up, but I wouldn't recommend that. And has there been any technical advancements over the years, do you think? There has. So for anybody that's used a crazy curve in the past, they know that they're usually pretty cheaply made. Mm -hmm. um, if you roll them up, it's pretty much impossible to get it unrolled. Yes. <laughs> this is actually a high performance plastic. Okay. Um, it has what they call an anti-tear technology. So these handles yeah. provide hours and hours of fun and you're not going to tear them apart. Nice. Well, that's good to know. Okay. So how about overall user experience? I'd say I'll give it a 6.1 out of 10. Okay. It was pretty much as advertised, <laughs> but um, it was lacking in the comfort department. It was pretty much hard to handle and I had trouble stopping. Awesome. Okay, well, we are going to watch you go down that hill now and uh, so everyone at home can enjoy that. Sounds good. <laughs> okay.